This tutorial shows you how to install the R package Pegasus when using Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 as your operating system. If you do not have Linux, you can emulate it on your Windows or Mac computer for free. See the show notes for details. In fact, I am emulating Linux right now on my Mac computer using VirtualBox. Now, I have a VirtualBox virtual machine pre-configured with the software I will show you today, as well as other population genetics and ecological niche modeling software. See the show notes below for step-by-step -step instructions to download and hook up that virtual machine within your Windows or Mac computer if you're interested. This tutorial assumes you have RStudio installed on your machine, which also requires R to be installed. But you can skip this whole tutorial if you want to by just downloading the VirtualBox virtual machine I have created that is already pre-configured. And then you can run Ubuntu Linux in virtualization as a virtual machine. The first thing you need to do is open up a web browser and you need to have three different links open. The links are in the show notes below. The first link is for installing libudunits2-dev. Highlight the first line of code from that web page. Then, if you're using a PC, right-click and select Copy. If you're using a Mac laptop, push with two fingers on your trackpad and click Copy. Then open up a terminal window. If you don't have terminal pinned as one of your favorites, you can search for it by clicking this button down here and selecting it from there. In the terminal, you're either going to right click or two finger click and select paste. Then hit enter. Type in the password for your machine. In this case, make sure it's the password for your virtual machine. When that finishes running, come back to the same web page and highlight the second line of code. Copy it as we went over, come back to your terminal, and paste it. Then hit enter. You can close this web page. We next need to install the system dependencies for an R package called DevTools. Scroll down until you see step one and highlight the code. Copy it, paste it into the terminal, and press Enter. When asked to continue, press Y and press Enter. You can now close this web page. We now need to use the code from this web page, but with some caveats. Number one, I am not going to install Python version 3.6. If you don't currently have Python installed on your Ubuntu Linux, Linux machine, you will want to follow this step. I will not be following this step because I already have an older version of Python installed on my virtual machine. The reason I have an older version installed is the older version of Python is required to work with another population genetic software that I use on this machine. So I don't want to update to a more recent version of Python. There's another program that you'll see being used in here called PIP. If you don't already have PIP installed, you will need to find instructions online for how to install PIP. You will also notice in this tutorial that I am using an older version of PIP. This is for the same reason. I need an older version of PIP as a part of installing this other piece of population genetic software that I use on this computer. 
So I am going to skip down to this first line of code under install gdal slash OGR. I will highlight it, copy it, paste it in the terminal, and press enter. Now I will press enter again to continue. Now I will highlight the next line of code, copy it, paste it into the terminal, and press enter. Now we should be able to install the gdal slash OGR package. I will highlight the code, copy it, paste it in the terminal, and press enter. When prompted, press Y and press enter. Next, run this line of code here that starts with OGR info. Copy it. paste it into the terminal, and press enter. Remember this piece of information that you see here. Now we're going to install GDAL for Python. Highlight the first line of code in that section, copy it, and paste it to the terminal and then press enter. Now, copy the next line of code, paste it in the terminal, and press enter. Then the next line of code, copy, paste it in the terminal, and press enter. We need to use this line of code here, but we need to modify it. So copy this line of code. Sorry about that. Paste it in your terminal, but don't press enter yet. We need to fix this part that's written in here in the brackets. To do that, scroll back up in your terminal window, until you find where you typed in the code OGR info dash dash version. This is the version of GDAL that we have installed, 3.0.4. Remember that, or your version may be different. What we can do is we can highlight it and copy it. Come back down here. We're going to use the backspace, or if you're on a Mac, the delete button, and delete all of this part here, including that caret. And then we're either going to type in 3.0.2, or we can paste it in. I'm sorry, 3.0.4. That's why it's better to paste it in than to type it from memory. Press enter when ready. You'll notice these warnings here. Uh, they, you may have the same warnings if you're working with a version of my virtual machine, uh, or you may not if you're working with more recent versions of Python. But I am working with older versions of Python and PIP because they were necessary for installing another piece of population genetic software. So now we wait for the installation to complete. That took about one minute.
we are now ready to install Pegas. So we can close this window. And you can close your terminal window. Open up our studio. If you don't have it pinned as a favorite, you can always find it by searching here and opening it from the search. I purposefully left our studio with some uh, script that's open that's now moved. If you open up our studio and you get a warning like this that a, that the file has been um, deleted or moved, um, you can choose what to do about that. Uh, do you want to close this file now? We're just going to say no. If this was a file that we wanted, you could save this file so it wouldn't be lost. But we're going to be typing directly into the console terminal down here at the bottom. If you don't have a window like this open, you may have this console terminal stretched so that it takes up your entire screen. But the important thing is wherever you see this console tab, whether it's down here, or whether the console tab is all the way up here, we're going to be typing directly into the console. The lines of code that I will be typing will be in the show notes. First, we're going to install the package DevTools. That takes several minutes to run, so be patient. Next, we're going to uh, run the library DevTools. Now we will install a package called Units that as of this recording was not available in the main R repository and was only available on GitHub. Right, so you'll either copy and paste in that line of code or type it in and press enter. Next, we need to install a package called SnipStars that as of this recording is not available in the main R repository either and is only available through Bioconductor. Here is the code that you use. First, run this line. Then run this line. When asked if you want to update some of the other packages, Let's go ahead and update them. Click A and then press Enter. We are now finally ready to install the Pegas package. To do that, type install, or you could also paste this code from the notes below. Packages, parentheses, Pegas, comma, Notice the comma is outside of the quotes. Dependencies equals true, with true all in caps. Press Enter. The installation takes quite a while. Ten minutes, maybe, maybe more. Let's check if it worked. We'll do that by calling the library and hit enter. It worked. We have successfully installed the package Pegasus.